Australian researchers are set to uncover mysteries lying off our eastern coast. Let's go live to science and tech correspondent Brent O'Halloran, who joins us from Sydney. And Brent, what exactly is this CSIRO project up to? Well, behind me, Kieran, is the RV Investigator. It's CSIRO's top research vessel, and it's being supplied in here in, in Sydney before it undergoes its 27-day final mission before major upgrades in Singapore. Now, that mission is off the New South Wales coast. Researchers will explore deep-sea canyons and get data on the East, uh, the Australian East Current. Now, why is that important? Why should we care? Well, the boss of the boat, she explained earlier. How important is this? Why should Australians care about what you guys are up to for the next 27 days? Well, so the East Australian Current that flows along the east coast of Australia provides a way that we can move ocean offshore water onto the shelf. And so we want to understand how that does that. 27 days at sea, what's that like? It's busy. It's really, really busy. We have about 60 operations that we want to do. We run a 24-hour ship and someone's up all the time doing stuff. And the dock workers here are busy loading up this ship. And let me give you a sense of the scale of the ship, because it might not look that impressive over my shoulder, but it's 94 metres long. It's worth around $125 million. Researchers on previous vessels have identified 1,000 new species, including 500 in, in one particular voyage. Now, it can go 70 to, uh, 60 days rather without resupply and 10,000 nautical miles. So it's being resupplied here in Sydney before it leaves on Friday for that 27-day mission, then heads to Singapore for major upgrades, Kieran.